This is the audio file of SCP-1570, also known as The Shocked Woman. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Research in the full containment of SCP-1570 is ongoing, though current procedures have been largely successful at controlling manifestations and preventing public knowledge. Since the last revision of procedures on August 17, 1992, there have been only 15 incidents requiring the intervention of Mobile Task Force Gamma-5 to obscure the existence of SCP-1570. Members of Mobile Task Force IOTA-0, Circle the Squares, are in constant contact with the City Councils of San Francisco, California, Austin, Texas, and Las Vegas, Nevada local officials in Tijuana, Mexico, and with the organizers of the Burning Man Festival to influence the regular scheduling of counterculture demonstrations within a 3,000 km range of site. This is to create scenarios that are most likely to trigger a controlled manifestation of SCP-1570 in locations where it will go unnoticed, or at least unreported by members of the public. There must be at least one organized and monitored event which would normally qualify as public indecency per month in the regions where a mobile task force IOTA-0 operates. If local officials do not authorize a necessary event, task force members are authorized to proceed and will be protected from prosecution. SCP itself is contained in the medical wing at site. Every three months, personnel must wash SCP-1570 and change its clothing in accordance with current fashion for plus-size women aged 40 to 60, including accessories. SCP-1570's Description SCP-1570 is the corpse of Marjorie Dornman, a Caucasian woman who passed away at the age of 61 on July 21, 1989. Since death, her body has not shown any of the natural stages of decay, and exhibits a stiffness superficially similar to rigor mortis. The body measures 1.68 meters in length from head to feet, but now weighs only 45 kilograms despite no apparent loss of mass or density. SCP-1570 is capable of spontaneously projecting three-dimensional images of itself without the use of any reflective surfaces or any clear relation between the location of the projection and itself. The greatest range at which a projection has been discovered was 4,231 kilometers on Coinciding with the anomalous events of that day, the events in question have been redacted per O5 order. These projections are usually static and thus far have always broadcast into densely populated urban areas. Although on rare occasions the projections have been mobile, see Incident Report 1570-07, Mexican Flying Bruja, for an example of the behavior of mobile projections. The projections are not tangible and will disperse upon physical contact with the tendency to re-manifest again nearby. The projections will always display any clothing and items smaller than one cubic meter in volume which are currently in physical contact with SCP-1570. Although means of preventing the projections have not been discovered, creating ideal circumstances to draw the attention of SCP-1570 has prevented it from manifesting in areas where it could be easily discovered and reported. Transcript of Police Interview, July 22, 1989 Officer when was the last time you spoke to your mother? Beatrice Dorman says, Last night around 9pm we were out to dinner and I called her to check on her at home. She was watching another of her tapes and telling me about it. Officer Was there anything unusual about the conversation? Beatrice Dorman says, Not really. She had this thing. She'd love to tape all the trashy daytime talk shows and watch them over and over. She was watching that one episode of Geraldo, Men in Lace Panties and the Women Who Loved Them, that was one of her favorites. When we came home, she was sitting in her recliner to stare at the test pattern. I turned the TV off because I thought she was asleep. Officer Was her eyes open? Beatrice Dorman Yes, but she always slept like that, and when I came down the next morning, the TV was on again. She was recording Morton Downey Jr., but she didn't answer when I asked her what she wanted for breakfast and her skin was cold. That's when we called you. After the Foundation recovered SCP-1570 from the local county morgue, Edward and Beatrice Dorman were removed from jail and the homicide case started by local authorities was ordered closed and erased from local records. The Dormans were relocated outside of SCP-1570's area of effect. Addendum Analysis of the behavior of SCP-1570's projections suggests an inclination to observe social interaction in dense populations, particularly during displays of public indecency or behavior that would otherwise be defined as obscene by community standards. 
Capitalizing on this behavior led to current containment procedure which both controls the phenomena and makes it less likely to threaten the normalcy of public life.